Let's go. You know what? No. No, we are not gambling. We're done gambling, dude. Ooh, this is it. Ooh. Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick Lamar, drink, Kendrick Lamar, drink. Kendrick My brother in Christ, prepare for trouble and make that double. Batten down the hatches. Get your legendary golden pump shock and get your tinfoil hats, man. It is a code red, I kid you not. We got two of the biggest bums of the internet here, bro. It's just why no one asked for this really what is up guys it's just gonna stay in the commentary community abstracted back here yapping once again and today we'll be talking about someone who is may or may not be on the spectrum meowba and i know it's a rather older topic but first off one of you guys asked me and two it's so close to bell the wolf it's kind of like her but with lesser of an iq it's just i felt like i need to do it it's like i had to like continue the trilogy so yeah we're gonna be talking about all the nonsense that i could find about her but before we do begin, I'm gonna strike a little deal with y'all. If you get this video to 500 likes, I'll eat one of Sukuna's fingers dipped in whatever you guys want. The top comment will choose which dipping sauce. So yeah, without the way, let's begin. For the small amount of people who do not know who this specimen is, she is basically like a jelly bean slash Bella the Wolf hybrid almost. Because she has like the jelly bean formula, just reading her comments and whatnot. But she kind of has like the same Bella the Wolf type schizo energy. Like where she thinks she is literally God and just be saying the most outlandish things, bro. Just being an absolute troll. Just trying to cling on to any single ounce of clout or fame. Even if it ruins their entire lives. I mean, as long as they got their few minutes in the sun, I, I guess it's all worth it to them. Hey, man, this isn't just me exaggerating or anything, man. Like, like see for yourself. Reading Meow's TikTok comments. Can Meow Meow? Meow! Are you Japanese? Meow does not have a race. Meow is a doll. Dolls don't have races, silly. This is literally what I mean by, like, the schizophrenic activity, bro. It's like, this dude literally just asks, are you Japanese? Bro could have just said, nah, but she has to answer, I'm not Japanese, but I'm a doll, bro. I'm a doll, silly, which means I don't have a race. Meanwhile, her, like, two seconds later. Does Meow celebrate Juneteenth? Of course Meow does. As a proud black trans male, Juneteenth is an important day of our culture. I have so many questions. Like, first off, did you forget your voice changer when you recorded this and just was like you know what screw it we'll just become black and trans just to like make sure this video wasn't for nothing was that like your secret plan is like if that was the case that was a pretty good save i'm gonna hand it to you but becoming black like a certified chicken chomper thuggin and buggin it just doesn't work like that you can become a doll a pet rock i could care less but we all as a collective society know that you is not black if you is really black, I will be shocked. Jaws dropped in everything. If this truly is the case, and I'm just the biggest loser on the beach, I will make a 20-minute apology, bro. As sincere as the Logan Paul and Travis Scott apologies, I will provide that. Just give some sort of proof that you are, and I will do it, hands down. Are Meow's parents present? Just to clarify, Meow is a doll, therefore Meow has no parents and doesn't need parents. So basically in simple terms, her parents left her bro. The dad got the milk and the mom went to go find a dad that was getting the milk. Bro, I kid you not, this is literally every single video that she has ever posted. I mean, I get it that she said that she took a bit of inspiration from Jelly Bean, but god dang my brother like this is just copy and paste like the amount of times i had to hear reading my discord questions or just reading questions over and over and over like my god talk about repetitive i mean i get it my content is repetitive and at some point videos do get repetitive i will not lie but this level repent but repetitiveness is just insane and though the cringe worthiness of this content is just let alone enough to have an entire video dedicated about it, but it does go a bit deeper than just cringe. If it wasn't obvious already, she owns a Discord server, and that's really like where most of the stuff really goes down from what I can see. She just be like sending out death threats like it's nothing, bro. Just be talking bad to like her server members and whatnot, like the typical Bella the Wolf shenanigans. I have no, I have nothing to do it for, so I woke up 7 a.m. for that. Have no life. Have you considered getting busy going outside? Yeah, I've been thinking. Have you considered yourself? <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking. <laughs> All the my besties. Now get out of here, no. now fast. 
It just like Bella, she has like her own cult slash religion, which I'm not gonna go too deep into because it's just exactly what you expect. Clowning on the religion, just saying that they're the only true one, and if they want to be saved, they have to um hit that like button and follow for more and pray every day or some shenanigans like that. Yep, yeah, basically just how you would imagine it is like they think they're immortal, like calling other religions trash and whatnot. She had personal beef with people who um support Allah. I don't know why. How did this begin? Who knows? I'm not going to that Discord server to find out. I'm not that invested. Also, I find it so weird how it isn't just Bella, it's like random other people in her server. Like, who's actually getting behind these people? I would love to know who is actually going behind and supporting these people, joining like their cult religion. It's like, do you have nothing else better to do with your life? Like, seriously? Like, all common sense is thrown out the window, all reasoning, they just be following these people like to like the very, very, very bitter end. It's like they're like dedicating their lives, man, to like some random dude with a voice changer who's <laughs> like quite obviously a troll. Like, I don't know if they're part of the troll or what. It's just, it's strange. It's just simply strange. Like, you for real having your role model, your leader, like be making statements like these. You'll be happy to hear that, man. You know, I'll work out our differences. So, um, the other bubbles. Can condemn that. <laughs> when they got my okay, respectfully, how do you talk to a law? It's like, do you get like that magic con shell and just start like conjuring up a conversation with him? Like, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't mean like to say all those things, man. I didn't mean to dish you like that. You actually kind of chill. I, I, that doesn't even make sense. Like, what? <laughs> you like talk your differences out with him? You just started like ascending to heaven and it's like, just, <laughs> just start talking to God and just come back down to make this video? And then she was like, oh shoot, right, I gotta be all cute and whatnot, and then she hits with like a EW! I have a feeling, man, that me making that sound, it, it's gonna haunt me someday. I, I don't know how it, how it will happen, I, I just know, I just know it's gonna haunt me. Anyway, that's not really the point. My main question is, is how do people like these just come out the woodworks and just get to like a certain level of popularity? To the point, like, your inspiration is literally just like making tweets about you. In case you're wondering who that is, I'm talking about Jellybean. She literally made a tweet saying, who is Meowba? And just like me doing two seconds of research, gave the exact same response I had, I regret axing. In giving the average human response, Jellybean blocked her and because of that, she said Jellybean is mid. Any other person would have made that tweet, even uttered those same words. It would have just been like the equivalent of saying the sky is blue. It's just common knowledge at this point. But for her, it's kind of funny because she literally has a video of her saying this. That was inspired by Meow's favorite creator, Jellybean. God, you know what topic is old when they talk about Jelly Bean, bro. I'm like turning to Peep is Awesome V2, bro. Pray on my behalf, man. The only other notable thing that she has done is make like this weird apology type beat video, but you can tell it's not an apology, almost like a terrible joke or troll almost. I don't know how to describe it. I'm just gonna show you guys. Meow hasn't returned to cause trouble or anything, but instead Meow wants to apologize for all the disrespectful things Meow has done. Meow never meant to hurt anyone. Meow has bipolar disorder and DID, so many of Meow's actions were actually Meow's system altered. Meow! <laughs> Sorry! Th that was one of Meow's tick. Bro, how does it go from like a semi-normal apology minus like her weird voice? Which does not already make it seem sincere as is. But then you have like her making her own war cry. Like what was that? I have seen ticks from other TikTokers pretending they had it. That was more believable than this. That what? Like you could have at least tried to make it believable. Meow also suffered severe religious trauma, which uh, made Meow a lash against Allah and other believers. I know, bro. The religions, bro, they traumatize you so much with that holy water, man, to the point where you had to make your own cult following. That just, that's, that makes sense, man. Most people just become atheists, but, um, you had other plans. You had a vision. It just, we simpletons weren't able to understand. Um, this was unacceptable for me to do. Mia also apologizes for the title of my art video. Mia suffers Yeah, if any of you guys are wondering what the heck she means by Technoblade art, yeah, I'm not talking about that nor explaining it because I would like to keep my eye sockets intact, you know? Like, it's just like some dastardly things, man. Just 
I I only heard about it, man. I and I just no. I that's not my cup of tea, gang. <laughs> not even close. As a way of giving back to you all, Meow is returning up above to Meowbin. Within the next three years, our neighboring galaxy, Andromedia, will destroy the Milky Way. And as Meowba, God of the Milky Way? God of Meow's a God of the Earth! Meow will sacrifice Meow's Meow to save mankind! Save you all from total annihilation and cosmic slavery! <clears throat> May the Meow Gods be with you. Thank you for everything. Sayonara. <laughs> what was that? She went on like a schizophrenic rant, bro. She was like, I'm gonna sacrifice myself, bro. Hit the IRL reset button, bro, so I can unlock gear five and then fight the giant monkey man in the ninth dimension. Like, what does she mean by cosmic slavery? It's like Garu from One Punch Man coming to take us all down, bro. Like, what are you saving us from, man? Like, we did not need to hear about this sacrifice that she's gonna do, man, like, to take down, like, this Avenger-level threat. Like, there was zero point to this. My favorite part of that entire apology was the end, when she hit us with the Sayonara, Shadow, Shadow the, the Hedgehog. Hedgehog. So basically, in conclusion, uh, Meowba is just a big, goofy, goober troll. Not gonna lie, Bella the Wolf did it better, because she actually had me there for a second. Meowba... This is just sad, just pathetic, and to think, bro, Miaba came before Bella, that's kind of insane, bro. Like, Bella ran with all this knowledge, bro, that she did, and just skedurdle with it, and made it her own, and I gotta say, I must applaud her for that. But yeah, lame subjects for a lame video for, with a lame channel, so yeah, it, it just all comes together. Thank you guys for watching up until this point, and if you did get to this point, I'm assuming you somewhat enjoyed this video. So yeah, I'm gonna have to ask you um, to respectfully um, caress that subscribe button, and yeah, that's really all I have to say. See y'all.